should always be that person that, that does it. And then you'll be more credible to other people. I think you should be a doer and you know, do it yourself and, and, and be it, and be what you speak. And then people will follow you. Eddie Goldman, who was recently another former Chicago Bear who signed on with the Atlanta Falcons, has instead informed the team that he is going to retire. What up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears. I actually called this and spoke a bit about it in an earlier video this offseason. He was one of Ryan Pace's first draft picks. An underrated nose tackle out of Florida State who quickly became one of the best run stuffers in the league. He was an ascending player and one of the cogs of the Bears defensive line for the better part of a decade. He had nine and a half sacks through four years and was widely considered underrated and one of the best nose tackles in the game. In 2018, he was a Pro Bowl alternate and signed an extension for four years and $42 million. Since he signed that extension, things have went downhill for Eddie. In 2019, he struggled and had his worst season as a pro. Then in 2020, COVID hit. Goldman was at a higher risk because of his size and opted to set the year out. He then returned last year, but was a shell of his former self, establishing a new career worst season. Ryan Poles and company decided they didn't like what they saw on film from Goldman last year and chose to release him and get out of that contract. In doing so, they were able to save a bit of money in the cap this season and in the future. I spoke earlier on about whether or not Eddie wanted to continue playing football. I am not one to question a guy's love for the game, but he's been through a lot, and after setting out the 2020 season, there were reports that he was mulling retirement. He then got injured in camp, and I'm not sure if he was healthy all season. Then he gets cut and goes to Atlanta as a backup. If you were questioning your love for the game and whether or not you wanted to continue playing when you had a big contract and were a starter for the Chicago Bears, then yeah, you would have to wonder if he still wanted to play on a much smaller contract as a backup for the Atlanta Falcons, a team that I expect to be a lot worse than the Bears this year. You want to talk about a team that has a shot at the number one pick next year? I'd put some money down on Atlanta over the Bears in a heartbeat. Their starting quarterback right now is Marcus Mariota. Now those thoughts of retirement have come to fruition as Eddie Goldman has decided to hang his cleats up today. Goldman was my favorite defensive tackle we have drafted since Tommy Harris. He was a great dude, a very underrated player. The game of football takes a toll on players both physically and mentally. I wish Eddie nothing but the best. By retiring before ever playing a game with Atlanta, it means Eddie Goldman played his entire career here in Chicago. Today's video is just a tribute to Eddie Goldman's career, always and forever a Chicago Bear. Enjoy retirement, Eddie, and bear down.